Happy New Year, everybody. It's Kurt Thompson here in the new year, 2022. It is Sunday, January 9th, and wow, <laughs> I'm dragging my feet, right? Uh, yeah, this is the third and final shout out. It's kind of a recap on what happened with our fundraiser for Trumpet Champions, Inc. Um, at the very end of 2021. So um, I'm just going to read off some of the names for the, actually, let me start off with the the, the last supporters that kind of fell in line with everybody. Uh, they kind of came in right at the very end. So I'm going to read their names out right now. Okay, we have Randy M, Caleb F, Colin D, and Harold K. If you could give them a nice warm round of applause, because those are the last supporters that came in after the second bunch. So let's work our way backwards to our second group. Dennis W, Rusty A, Fabio M, Steve P, Curtis H, Jack L, Chuck S. And we had three anonymous donations about that time. And then our original donors from way, I think maybe starting around Giving Friday, or no, not Giving Friday, <laughs> Giving Tuesday, which I think was November 30th. Well, let's see here. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yes, uh, Fran Francesco G, Darian R, Colin B, Randy N, Kevin G, Hal P, Terry T, Liu P, Dominic P, David C, John C. I really want to thank you guys and gals for chipping in, helping us out. And some of you actually chipped in more than once. So I saw a couple of names come up kind of near the end too. So I guess I should make mention that um, in the end we had, what, four or five people, new people. But there were also several of you that had, had kind of given at the beginning. They came back and gave a little bit more at the end. So we really appreciate that. Now I'm going to put up some screenshots of what we've kind of tallied up as far as the total. You know, we kind of missed the mark pretty decently on the Indiegogo fundraiser. So I'm going to put a, a screenshot of that right now. You can see when we finished up on New Year's Eve 2021, we had $4,435. You may also not have been aware of that we were also trying to raise funds on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram really didn't do much. Um, I donated 20 on each of those, but it never went beyond that. But on YouTube, actually not too bad. So if you're looking at the screenshot here, $1,283. And then just uh, off the trumpetchampions.org website, before I switched gears and had all the links go to Indiegogo, uh, we actually raised, uh, where is it? Let's see here, 500. There you go, if you look at the screenshot, we raised $500. All right, so we had a total of $4,400 and change from Indiegogo, 500 from just off the trumpetchampions.org website at the very beginning. And that puts us close to 5,000. Um, 1300 from YouTube almost so what is that about 6300 you know that's kind of almost getting close to what we raised last year so 6300 and we were shooting for 12,005 so we got 50% I think we can do something with that you know I was thinking about the other nine members of the group now uh, obviously I'm the the band director of the group and the one of the principal soloists but I was looking at all the other members and some, to try to somehow get this happening uh, more smoothly. We don't have to have Buddy Rich on the drums, okay? So I was thinking about that. No, we don't have to have Buddy Rich on the drums. We just need a decent drum player. Um, someone who's versatile. Uh, they don't have to be Buddy Rich. So that should smooth things out a little bit. We don't need Jocko Pastorius on the bass. In fact, the bass is so easy that I got out my brother's bass and... I was able to, uh, what, what song did I play that was, that was so easy? Uh, was it the, um, 
wasn't the Burt Camper. Anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. But anyway, I kind of I kind of plucked out a little bit on the electric bass of one of the songs, and it was that easy. Now I don't play bass that much. I kind of fool around with it sometimes. Now if I can actually mess around and get something going. That means we don't need Jocko Pastorius on the bass for this group. It's really the trumpet players that have to be, you know, um, fired on all cylinders. So, um, so that's going to make it a little bit easier, right? Um, okay, so we don't need Buddy Rich on the drums. We don't need Jocko Pastorius on the bass. We just need two decent players. So they don't have to be, you know, the, the best pro players in the world. They can just be advanced, I would say, and decent players. Uh, let's go to the Barry Sachs. The Barry Sachs, I would say, definitely needs to be advanced or pro jazz. Now, they could be a student, maybe at North Texas or, or somewhere in a jazz program. But the Barry Sachs is going to get some of the jazz solos, and they're going to stick out. So they actually do have to be pretty good. So I would say their level has to be better than the bass and the drums. Uh, they, they have to pull off the jazz pretty convincingly. Let's go to the bass trombone. The bass trombone doesn't need to be, you know... The um, Bill Watrous of trombone, uh, I would say a good, a really good intermediate or maybe um, kind of at the bottom rung of advance for bass trombone. So because they're not really doing any solos and it's a fun part, but so we got that straightened out. Now the tenor bone part, yes, that does need to be either advanced, could be a really good college student uh, that's in the jazz studies program that knows their jazz, or it could be uh, the pro. So that one, that that position does need to be good. And then now let's look at the trumpet players. I'm going to be able to handle the most difficult. I can play all the parts that we have, the, even the Carnival of Venice. Okay, so I can do it all. So I'm not worried about that. I don't want to do it all because it's just ridiculous to go from Maynard to Bud Brisboy to Bill Chase to Carnival of Venice. Hello, <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. So. The classical guy that we need to get in here, or gal, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a pro at just that. But uh, because Cardinal Venice and the Trumpeter's Lullaby, which is what they're going to be handling, is not horribly difficult, but you have to be pretty good. So I would say uh, we needed a good advanced player on the classical, the classical chair. And then the rest of their job is just going to be kind of utility trumpet. You know, they're going to be switching back and forth. And uh, maybe if they want a solo, they can have one. Well, they got the two solos, the two classical solos, so that might be enough. But otherwise, they're going to be playing a sectional. So that's not going to be that hard. Uh, let's see what else. Um, okay, so for the, the lead trumpeter, it's really not that bad. It's really not that bad unless they want to um, switch it with me sometimes. And, uh, you know, take over, you know, just trade off solos that I'm going to be doing. So the lead trumpet player should be an advanced player, but doesn't have to be a working pro. They, they just have to have, you know, good range, some experience. And I'll talk more about that. But, yeah, we do need a, a good advanced uh, lead player. Um, they'll be doing solos, but they don't have to be the Wayne Bergeron of lead trumpet players, okay? Uh, the jazz trumpet player, I would like for them to be pretty close to pro because we're doing Dizzy Gillespie's Bebop. And I would, now I can I can play that solo and I can follow the changes. And if I really worked on it, I could get it going. But I don't know if I could pull that off the best. I'd like to have a pro do that. So we could settle on an advanced player, a really good college kid, or a pro for that one. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to relax my standards on that. And let's see what else. Um... So we got the classical, we got the lead, we got me, and then we got one other trumpet player to make four. The other trumpet player could be kind of an all-arounder. So I would say maybe a really good advanced player. It doesn't have to be pro for that. So the reason I'm thinking out loud for everybody is that, you know, I can relax my standards a little bit for the group. It's not We don't have to have everybody be at the, the level uh, of the trumpet players. So I'm going to try it at a different angle here of getting folks in and I, if I relax my standards a little bit on some of the ones I just told you about, I think that's going to be easier. And then it's just a matter of getting the right trumpet players, um, especially the jazz, the jazzer. If I had to pick one of the four of us uh, that would really be the best, and I'm talking about even if I could find someone better than me, I'd like to have the jazz trumpet player 
I would like that person to be the best, um, even better than me if we could find it. So um, John Faddis, Winton, <laughs> that's kind of the level I'm talking about. But um, I mean, that's just kind of um, maybe wishful thinking. But, but basically, the jazz trumpeter does need to be able to hold their own. Uh, that's um, certainly going to be true. So that's where we're at. I kind of got burnt out just a little bit. Uh, doing these fundraisers kind of wear me out. Plus, I don't really like asking people for money. I really have to force myself to do it. I'd rather just earn the money and do something good. For example, you know, playing the concert and have people give because we gave something like that of value and they want to help out that way as opposed to just doing the fundraiser. So hopefully at the end of this year, it will be different. Okay, what else? So yeah, I kind of got a little bit burned out and I'm kind of letting the dust settle, getting back into it. So probably the next week or two, I'm going to go ahead and start putting some listings on Facebook and some of my pages, maybe some other places and, and see if we can start rounding up a group um, that can get together and start rehearsing. I believe we have raised enough to where we could have enough rehearsals um, to put something together for probably one really good performance and, ha and also hire the people to record it. I believe that's just about what we have, uh, maybe. We're talking a lot about a lot of people, a lot of rehearsals, and people coming from different directions. So there's, like I mentioned in the fundraiser, there's some expense involved. But um, yeah, I also thought about, believe it or not, I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing some side hustles um, to just try to see if I can put some more money in the coffers for Trumpet Champions. So uh, maybe I was thinking like the DoorDash deal. Uh, what's another one? Uh, Instacart. Um, even I even thought about giving plasma. So kind of reached the end of the line here where I guess nobody else really wants to help out much more. Um, I've given more than everybody else. So if you just take away my time, I've given thousands of dollars since last year, my own personal money. Um, I'm willing to stick it out a little bit more. So um, I heard I could make a thousand dollars a month by giving plasma. So that would add another thousand for us for Trumpet Champions probably screw up my arm but um, at least we get to help out some people though you know the plasma helps out people that really need it so I heard I could do that so there's another thousand for the group um, um, maybe you might see me knocking on your door with a little DoorDash <laughs> I'll go shopping for you um, I can't really take money away from my my teaching and the other stuff because that kind of supports me I mean that's pays my bills and other stuff so I can't really dig into that so I have to do something extra so anyway you stay tuned you may see a video of me hustling and hoofing it for uh, Uber Eats or DoorDash um, I may make a video of me convalescing there in the plasma donor center and um, so I'm gonna see if I can pick up a little bit of the slack not six thousand dollars worth but maybe I can get another grand or two in there so we can really get lift off and um, that way everybody that already contributed will know that um, you know that we're not just languishing and kind of you know whipping back and forth in the wind here until we get a grant so I'm gonna do my part that more than my part and maybe even part of your part <laughs> and uh, see if I can come up with a little bit more money and get things going for 2022 so I want to thank everybody that went out of the way and actually um, got their website on the trumpetchampions.org. Also, I know some of you emailed some of your friends and some of those friends did contribute. That's why we have a couple anonymous co contributions, I believe. So thanks for some of you for going the extra mile. Thanks to all of you for just jumping into the deep end with me and making a contribution. Uh, we are gonna get something happening here. We are gonna get something happening in 2022 now i've already kind of refined things just a little bit so i don't want to do anything over the summer because it just seems like it's going to be difficult to get people together over the summer and plus it's hot here in texas so we're either going to rehearse and get something going before memorial day or we're going to be you know hopefully gaining steam but um, we're not going to come to any kind of performance until after labor day so we're not going to do anything over the summer. Um, just too difficult to 
uh, manage everybody, especially people and students that are gone. And the weather is not fun. We had to play outside. It really is not that fun here in Texas when it's, you know, 95 degrees and 90% humidity. I'm just not going to play in that. So anyway, you're welcome to send me an email, info at trumpetchampions.org, info at trumpetchampions.org. If you need to leave, leave a comment or a personal message for me, yeah, let's see what else. Um, January is already flying along, isn't it? We're coming up to the middle of January almost this week. And I'll be in touch. Probably not right away, but uh, look for something maybe coming up in, in maybe in February. We'll start digging in and see if we can get something, something moving in the right direction. So I'm Kurt Thompson. We worked hard. We, we, got, we got some stuff done. And we got about halfway towards our goal. We're going to be able to get something going. And probably uh, maybe in March, once I shake everything off, I'll start going back to the grindstone and um, filling out application, applications again for grants. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you again for your generosity and doing the world some good.